Hey, what's up guys? Disney Nuts here with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite spots to use the fish eye. Let's go. Okay, the fisheye, what a cool lens this is. And this is probably the second lens that I use the most of all my arsenal of all the lenses that I've got. And the reason for it is because it's so versatile. I could use this in so many options in so many places. And even though it has that really cool fisheye effect, which is why they call it the fisheye, it's got that ultra wide angle there where the sides are really distorted and really cool. You could do a lot of stuff even in post edit. Now the lens that I got and the ones that I use is the Optica lens and I'm going to put a link here on the bottom of the description. It's great. Uh, when I got it, it was probably like 150 bucks off of Amazon and it's awesome. I've had this almost for two years now and I took so many photos. It is sharp. It's an awesome lens. I recommend it to everybody. Now the only downside of this lens, uh, which really isn't a downside for me, is that everything is manual, which means the f-stop as well as the focus needs to be adjusted on the ring of the lens. You cannot do it on the camera. So you don't got autofocus or anything like that. But usually on lens like this, you can set it to the infinity point, which is all the way to the right, and you set it and forget it. And basically the same thing with the f-stop. You put an f-stop on it and off you go. Now what we're going to do today, we're actually going to head to five locations which I've shoot with this fisheye before. And I'm going to show you where I shot it from and where I put the tripod and all the stuff that we did to get these really cool shots at these locations. So without further delay, let's grab our gear and let's head over to the parks. Let's go. Okay, on the list we have here is Fairy Tale Hall, which is right behind me, which is pretty cool. You got an awesome shot here of the lobby where you got all the pictures of the princesses on both side walls. Now what I did is that I got in right at the last moment before they closed, and that way I was able to get nobody inside the shot. I'm going to go ahead and walk inside so you guys can see the how it looks when there's people in it. Let's go. setup was actually right here and even though it's dead center in the middle what I did I put the tripod as closest to the fence as possible that way I am spot center in the middle like this and then the fish I gives that really cool effect which is looking upwards which is the photo that I took here okay now another really good spot to shoot with the fish eye is actually this logo right here now the only bad thing of shooting this is you actually have to try to get it where there's nobody inside the shot, which is pretty tricky because sometimes um, you got obviously people coming off of the of the uh, monorails and you got people coming in from the other parking lots like that, the contemporary. So this is an awesome shot. Um, if you got a chance with the fisheye and shoot it, you just basically have to stand up right here in the corner and you can get the whole thing with the train station. This is how the shot looks like. Okay, now castle shots are always a big plus on the list when it comes to shooting with any lens at all, even with the fisheye. But there's one that I like a lot, which is actually using uh, the space that is underneath the turrets. So we're going to head over there now. Actually, I got a, a little castle here behind me. I'm going to show you which is my favorite spot underneath the turret to shoot with the fisheye lens. And this place is awesome during the day as well as during the night. Let's go check it out. Okay, now the awesome thing of this spot is that many times it's actually empty. No matter how the park is, people would rarely come under here to take photos. But right here is an excellent spot where you can take it from. Now you need to make sure that you're using a wide angle or a fisheye so you can get that arch on the top. And of course you need to be standing pretty far back, something like where I'm him right now. Now I'm shooting this with the regular camera phone, so obviously the lens does not pick up the top part. But I'm going to go ahead and do a video here quickly with the fisheye so you guys can see 
how much the fish I captures. I got all the arch here on the top and I got the whole castle and I'm not standing pretty far away actually but that's the advantage of the fish that is so far back and so far wide you get all the image. Now what I do recommend is that you got all the space over here that's left so just step up a little bit more like this that way you get the whole arch you get the castle and this is how the photo looks guys. Okay hey guys, what's up? Busy up here. We're here at Epcot and I'm going to show you some of my favorite spots to shoot the fisheye. And one of them is right here under Spaceship Earth. We're going to walk up a little closer because there's a really cool spot that you can shoot with the fisheye and you shoot upwards. And you can move all around this uh, Spaceship Earth to be honest with the fisheye, but there's one particular spot that I like the most. Okay, so I just want to say also that these five places that I'm mentioning for fisheye use are not set in stone. These are just five of the ones that I like the most, which I think came out pretty cool. Uh, but again, there's tons of other places that you can use the fisheye on and feel free to experiment and tag me on them. I'd love to see where they are. So let's go ahead and walk up to Spaceship Earth and I'll show you the spot which I like to shoot from. Okay, so once you stand right here, we're going to look all the way up. And you're going to get this awesome shot of the whole Spaceship Earth. Okay, another really cool spot where you can shoot uh, with the fisheye here in um, Epcot is actually on the other side. And I'm actually walking now across to the other side of Spaceship Earth. As you can see, it's behind me right over here. And the cool thing of this area is that you got a really cool uh, tent. And the cool thing of this tent, that if you'll be able to stand in the sack center, or at least somewhat the center of it, you can get a really good uh, shot about it. Let me go ahead and stand in the spot so you guys can see exactly what I mean. Now you can see, obviously, you got all these cool triangles everywhere, which looks really nice. And make it look really cool. Now the good thing of this shot also that you can actually shoot this anytime during the day because since we're shooting upwards we won't have any of these people inside the shot. Now you can if you want to stand all the way back here which is what I did for the shot. I stood right here and I turned around and I shot upwards because this way you somewhat get the people in the frame which is okay if that's what you're looking for which is the effect that I wanted. I wanted the people to be underneath the tent and that's how it looks really cool. Okay guys, we're here at Hollywood Studios and there's two locations here that I recommend you guys for you to use your fisheye. Let's go check them out. Okay, another really cool spot here at Hollywood Studios is actually the Chinese Theater, which used to be the Great American Movie Ride. Um, the structure itself, is just calling for use of a fisheye. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see what I mean. Okay, so this one you can actually shoot from a bunch of locations. For example, I could shoot from right over there and you can shoot upwards in an angle so you get the whole structure there. <laughs> so right over here is probably one of the best spots. If you park here, you can shoot all the structure and all the curves and everything which looks really cool. So this spot, it's tons of places where you can shoot around. So come and check it out. Um, it's awesome. So you can really practice with your fisheye skills here okay let's go to the next one okay so the next one on the list is actually Hollywood Studios which you got it it's the Tower of Terror lobby scene which is this shot now if you want to see how I took the shot and all the other fun stuff and walking around the queue line and how we set up all the equipment there's a link right here on the top that I'm going to put feel free to click on that and it'll take you to the video where we talk all about how we did that shot settings and all the goodies so let's go over to the next location which is Animal Kingdom Okay, so if you recognize the waterfalls behind me, it's Pandora, the world of Avatar. Now these fountains always provide an awesome shot when shooting stuff with the fisheye, for example like this. And obviously, of course, when you're shooting stuff inside the Pandora area, don't forget to include the Flying Mountains. Now we're coming up to the place which is pretty cool here in Pandora to shoot with the fisheye. 
and I'm actually on it right now, so I'm gonna flip the camera around because it's actually a bridge, which is the one that we're walking through right now. If you shoot it from the other side, it's awesome because you're gonna get the bridge as well as the flying mountain on top of it. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, now when shooting on the bridge, don't forget the awesome option that you have shooting towards the waterfall and the other side shooting towards this stuff right here which will light up pretty nicely when it's nighttime. For example, like this. Okay, another really good thing of Pandora is that most of the stuff is shooting upwards so you don't have to worry about having people inside their shots. For example, here's one of the flying mountains that if you park right here on the bottom and set up your tripod, You'll see that you won't get any of the people that's in here because you guys will see this place is packed, but you won't get any of those people inside your shot. So if I shoot upwards here, look how cool this is going to look. Here's a similar shot from here. Okay, so that's it guys. Here is my top five places where you can use the fisheye. Again, there's tons of other places you can use your fisheye around the Walt Disney World, but those are my top five that I think are probably some of the coolest ones that I've taken. Now, if you use the fisheye as well, which places have you used the fisheye? Please comment underneath the video below. I'm curious to see which ones they are. Now, if this is the first time watching any of these types of video, my name is Lewis, AKA Disney Nuts, and I post daily on Instagram as well, my Facebook page and I share comments and tips about photography around Walt Disney World here on this channel. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit subscribe and click the bell to get notified for future videos. Until next time guys, stay awesome.